On today's episode, we're going to balance the piston assemblies. balance the pistons and in order to do so we have to weigh our pistons, our piston pins, the spiral locks and also on a previous video you would have seen that we went through and we set up all of our piston rings sets and we weighed those but we also gapped them to each cylinder. So what we did between now and then was went through and measured each of the cylinder bore diameters at multiple locations and multiple heights we then went through and measured each of the diameters of the pistons and then from there we can work out our clearances and so we went through and assigned each piston to each cylinder bore uh, based on the clearance value. So, so we used to have the, the pistons labeled A through F and now we've gone ahead and assigned the A through F numbers to numbers 1 through 6 um, and so with the Datsun motor, you've got to make sure that you line up the intake and exhaust valves because they switch as they go down the head. And so what we were able to do is assign out as best as we could the appropriate clearances to the appropriate pistons going forward. Now what we need to do is we need to balance this pistons assembly. So what we need to do is we need to get started on weighing all the parts as an assembly and then working out which ones are the minimum weights and which ones have the maximum weights. So let's get started. So first up, what we need to do is we need to get the scale ready. So we've set it up on the table, tear it, set it to grams. And what we're going to go through is we're just going to quickly go through and rate, weigh the pins, see what they come out at. So that's 98.1, 98.1, 98.1. So we're seeing like consistently, pretty consistent 98.1. So 98.1. Okay, now with that, we've got the pins weighed. We're going to go through and weigh the various pistons, um, try and make sure we get a good weight in those. So you can see here we've pretty much got consistent values for the pistons. Uh, we have one that's a little bit lighter, which is number one. And then number two itself is also just a tad lighter, but then the last four are pretty consistent. So what we want to do here is we want to try and match the pistons and the pins and the weights all this as much as possible. So taking the pins, uh, we can see that the heaviest one is D. And so if we assign this to uh, cylinder number one, we can bring up the weight of piston number one here. And so we can assign that one going ahead. Uh, so we'll put D with uh, cylinder number one. And then with the rest of them, it's kind of tough. So we have 98.1 for A. The next lightest one is uh, 347.0, followed by a bunch of 347 points one so what we might do here is we might assign the lighter ones to the just heavier ones so so a for instance can go to cylinder number three um f can go to cylinder number two and then uh for the for the other two uh, it doesn't really matter here. We're going to end up with a few different weights, but it looks like if we put the rest of them, we could just pretty much go down the line. So B, 4, E, 5, and C, 6. So B, 4, 
C6 and E is 5. And so given those weights we'll end up with for center number 3, this will be a, a plus uh, A, which is 98.1. And our heaviest, heaviest one, D, is a 98.4. And then we'll go... You can see that there are going to be a couple tenths of a gram slightly off, but we haven't yet weighed all of the lock rings in and all of the ring set so now. okay so now we're going to weigh each of the piston assemblies all together and see how close we are on balancing them so get the scale set tear them <laughs> So we're pretty close actually on a bunch of these. So the most heavy one we have is piston assembly five. We've got a greatest difference of this is plus 0.2 plus 0.1. This these are both 0.1s plus 0.1. So what we would need to do is we would need to remove this much material from each of these assemblies. So what you would do is you would just remove a little bit of material along these leading edges here and here. What you don't want to do is you don't want to drill into the bottom of this piston base. I see uh, some people recommend doing this. What this does is it will uh, thin out the piston top and it can potentially create hot spots here that will eventually lead to uh, issues with the piston and its heat dissipation. So what you want to do is take out a little bit of material off the top here where it's not really structural and a little bit of material here. And if you find that's really not working, then you can go to these edges here, here, and here, and here. And really just, you don't want to create any stress rises. You don't want any sharp edges. What you want to do is create a nice, chamfer or a nice radius edge in these locations and that way you can just remove the minimum amount of material and we're only talking here about 0.2 or 0.1 of a gram so depending on the piston so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do that and then we'll reweigh the set and see where we're at <music> Okay, so we've got the weight down a little bit. Let's just check with all the other parts now and see where we're at. So we are 469.0. So we still got about 0.1 to go. So we got a little bit more work to do take off a little bit more material. So there you go. You can see that we got the weight down now. And so we are at 468.9. So we're back down where do we need to be for this piston set. Um, so now we're going to move on and do the rest of them. So there you go. After that work, we've got all the piston assemblies match balanced. They're at 468.9 grams each. And so what we did is we went through, we weighed the pins and then from heaviest to lightest, we went and matched them to the piston weights. The pistons were already matched to each cylinder based on the clearances and then the ring sets along with those that we previously gapped. 
And so that gave us a little bit of a variance between the different piston assemblies. We're talking about 0.2 grams from the lightest to the heaviest. And then so what we did is we went through and we removed just a little bit of weight from each of the pistons to match them to the lightest set. So one of them we had to take off 0.2 grams and another three we had to take off about 0.1 grams. We did that by radiusing these inside edges here of the pin bosses. So nothing structural on the piston, didn't take any, don't take any weight out of the bottom. Uh, we just went through and reduced a little bit of the radiuses on the edges here and that was enough to get us within the matched weight that we wanted. And so with that done, the piston assemblies are ready to go. We still got more work to do to prep the motor before we can get into assembly. Um, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we hope to see you next time here as we get more work done on the Datsun engine build. Thanks for watching.